Now, before you get disheartened about marriage, love and all, don't worry because we have our date coach to speak more about love, love, love. Now, they say the most important element in a relationship is love trust and respect but I honestly I honestly believe the key in gluing all this together is still communication and today as promised we have Andrew Chow who will share with us 10 essential skills to enhance the couple's communication as well as five relationship compatibility time bombs so good morning Andrew and welcome back how are thou oh very good and, that's uh, great stuff you know time you know, flies four weeks four weeks half. indeed yeah. I know so. I, I've, I've applied some of the um, little tips that you guys have been, okay. you know, sharing with uh, me. Mushida was here with yes, us uh, yesterday. Yeah, Heiko and Selena. And uh, yes, Heiko yeah. and Selena. They're, they're lovely, aren't they? Power yeah. couple. Oh. So today you are going to share with us communication skills. That's yes. really vital, right? That's right. Okay. Now, um, I'm a very practical person, so I choose to dwell on some of the practical tips that um, even when you are dating exclusively, mm -hmm. not even married yet, mm -hmm. There are some skills that we need to practice. There are some do's and don'ts. Today, I chose to concentrate on the do's. So, uh, you know, first I'll talk about time positive communication skills. Then I'll talk about five compatibility time bomb. Okay. So, the first thing, while assuming you're in the right relationship and, uh, you know, you got all the qualities in it and now you are happily dating. Mm -hmm. Now, there are certain skills that we need to communicate better. First up is learn to say or not say these two words. Don't don't always say always and never say never. Hold on. Don't always say, say always, always and never say never. Things like That's a bit of a paradox, Ah, it? okay. <laughs> it things like you never listen to me when I tell you to do this. Alright. Uh... Ah, it's very judgmental. You never as in not even once. Or how about you always it's on the phone whenever I call you. You're always on the phone. You see always and never are very strong powerful statements that if you use it incorrectly it's going to cause you um, some problems in the communication now i may be on the receiving end i may take it one five day i'll blow up mm -hmm. all right so remember to be careful to use these two words Caref um, always and never so what should it be replaced with actually it's bad use of grammar <laughs> all right she said you didn't you didn't listen not you never listen when I say you never listen, it's very judgmental. When I say you didn't, hey, this last time you didn't do it. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's the difference. Right. If we are, if we are just a little bit more mindful about how we say things, things will be easier. Which brings me to the second point. Sometimes, okay. never, never bring up the past. <gasps> ah, so guilty of that. Especially when it is dealt with. You know, we always bring out the past. Yep. When, when, we have a heated disagreement or argument. Oh, that's Re so true. Remember, in 1985, mm -hmm. <laughs> you did this, you know. So, if it's dealt with, never bring out the past because it will be no end. If you bring out the past, I bring out the past. And, you know, we can't move forward. Especially when we move on, we have plenty of past to talk about. Oh, All right. Terrible. Okay. Yeah, so number three, I think, when we are in a disagreement, even though we are in a quarrel, which is common among couples, between couples. And it's actually healthy, you know, having right. one or two fights. So sometimes having noisy communication is, is healthy. It's a form of communication. Right. But in a quarrel, be very careful to be the one having the very, very last word. Meaning to say, <laughs> if I'm the one who end the quarrel, hey, you, you should be very lucky. Look at yourself in the mirror. You should be very lucky that I choose you. <gasps> now, on the surface, I may be winning this argument, mm -hmm. but actually, whatever I just said last mm -hmm. hurts you the most. Mm -hmm. And that's why you kept quiet. Mm -hmm. You choose to end the quarrel, not because you think you didn't win, but because you're so hurt, mm -hmm. you just want to walk away. Okay. So, and of course, you know, we avoid a lot of trouble by, number four is very important, mm -hmm. learn to give feedback creatively. Creative Creative. feedback? Okay. Creative feedback. For example, no offense to the ladies, Assuming, assuming, assuming that you wear a dress that make you a little bit less overweight, let's say, all right, it makes you a little bit, let's, let's just say, but definitely is very, very shaky. Yes, Andrew, okay. continue. It's, Let me is... see how you give me feedback creatively. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay, so, so, if you wear, okay, if you wear something that's not really suitable for you, I mm -hmm. would say things, instead of saying, hey, this thing makes you look fat, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I would say, Hey, Daphne, mm. you look nice in almost every dress. Mm -hmm. But this one just didn't help you to accentuate your figure. But I like every okay. other one that you wear. So it's positive? Yeah, so it's a sandwich principle. You have positive, 
you slide in the negative quickly, and then you wrap <laughs> up with, and then you wrap up with another positive. So it's okay. the same way. So you see, when you bite, mm -hmm. you are biting two positive with one negative. Okay. All right. Wait, and you bring with the number five. Assuming you don't have a sandwich now, you know the, the word but, mm -hmm. not b u t t, but b u t. <laughs> yes. The but the word but is another powerful word. We always use it wrongly. Now the thing is, our brain is wired. Mm -hmm. to cancel off everything before the word but. So definitely you're really a nice girl, you're charming, you're beautiful. But, but. now the thing is, once I say but, you want to know what I'm going to say mm -hmm. after but. And you forgot everything I say before mm -hmm. but. Correct? Mm -hmm. So it's positive and then negative. Learn to switch it around. Mm -hmm. Learn to say the not so good one first. But, you know, you're, you're still very charming, you're lovely and so on. So you see, you forget, you tend to not remember what I say before but. So we should... Yeah, what if we, we should. Switch it, you should say. reframe it. You should do the negative. Say, you know, I think you're a little bit loud, but you're still very charming, beautiful. Blah, blah, blah. You know, so, so that is the way. Learn to say the negative quickly and then follow by positive. <laughs> so, so, it is not sugar coating. It is just a reframing. You still say whatever that you want to say. Mm -hmm. So, you know, learn to do that. And number six, mm -hmm. maintain eye contact. Because oh. that is transparent. Yeah, I know. When you gave me that look, it's just suddenly that little spark there. Okay, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe eye contact means you are open. Your soul is open. You mm -hmm. know why we say we found our soulmate? Mm -hmm. Soul has three parts. Mm -hmm. Our mind, our will, and our emotions. Okay. So if all these three are aligned with soulmates, so when I look at your eyes, sometimes before you even say certain things, I know what you're going to say. Oh, that's so true. Yeah. That's you know. so true. I miss that, but yeah, yeah. so true. Okay, okay, continue. Number seven is to always make decision, always make a joint decision, and always make decision um, considering your partner. Now, you need to learn to do that while you're dating. Even though it is a sing it, it is a soul decision, make sure that your partner who is dating is mm -hmm. the first one to know about it. Okay. She will not be happy if she's the last one to know or even she knows it at the same time as your friend. She won't be happy because she's... To make she, her feel important. Make her feel important. Her important right? She should be the first one. Okay? okay. Now, number eight, learn when to tease and when to appreciate. We love to tease. You know, it's you being you. Yeah, I understand. Hey, here you go again. You know, you're always teasing. Now, learn to appreciate each other. Thank you. You know, sometimes these two words are just taken for granted. After a while, you fail to say thank you. Men, learn to say, I feel, da, 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 da. you feel in the blank. Mm -hmm. You know, we men, we need to open up more emotionally. Yeah. We use our hate yeah. too much. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 okay. But women has its own problem too. <laughs> women feels a lot, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> I think women needs to use the brain and the mind more sometimes. Hey, yeah. that ain't fair. <laughs> okay, number okay. nine. Number nine, always give each other the benefit of doubt because every action has a positive intention. Okay. So don't assume when certain things this person do or say, it's you will jump the conclusion. So don't assume. Don't okay, assume. number 10. Last but not least, concentrate on how you make the other party feel. You know, there's this wise saying, mm. people may forget what you say, mm -hmm. people may forget what you do, mm -hmm. but they will not forget how you make them feel. That's true. Okay, very, very quickly, unfortunately, we're running out of time. We've got the five time bombs, so what are they? Okay, very quickly. If you have, if you have significant age differences, like 20, 25 years, that mm -hmm. is going to be a time bomb, so be very careful. Okay. Number two, if you have different spiritual conviction, that's going to cause a problem too. Oh very, very different. And, you know, if you come from very different social, ethnic and education background, it's caused a lot of difference. Now, not everyone can be like pretty woman, Richard Gere and Julia Roberts, you yeah. know, the kind of story, sometimes it's very hard. Fourth, you may laugh at this, overbearing in-laws. Mm -hmm. You know, when your in-laws <laughs> who, who always give you surprise visits and so on, I think you're going to be in trouble because they cannot accept you as being As much married. as we love them, you know, it can be a little bit annoying sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Last but not least, long-distance relationship. So it doesn't work? It hardly because if you over... I'm sorry to the man in Mexico. I've got to leave you because he said so. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, these are, these are <laughs> well. external obstacles that, that develop over time. Now, you may not find this is a problem, but eventually it may catch up with you. Now, I'm not saying that uh, any, any one of these five wouldn't work, but it's just that it is a time bomb. Time bomb meaning you don't know when it's going to set off. Just tick tock, tick tock. That's well, right. thank you so much, Andrew. So, it's a pleasure always having you here. Yeah, and so, good luck with the cruise on December 6th all the way to December 10th. 10, if you want to find right. out more with regards to this cruise, all you have to do is log on to www.singlecruiseasia.com. Oh. And uh, yeah, you can get more 
dating tips from Andrew and the gang.